I don't think I ever had the thought for a moment that I might fail. And the reason for it was I was so busy building that I had no time to give anything any thought. Failure is relative. It's something I've been thinking a lot about since we started the new business. We've been bringing on all these new agents, new projects. It's been a lot. And I think about what happens if we don't succeed. Think about how I fail, if we're gonna fail. We can't fail, no way, we'll never fail. But failure is relative. And I think there's two types of people. There are people that worry about their days and everything that's going on in the day. And then there's people that worry about their years and their big plans. Don't worry about the years while sitting there wasting away your days. We're full of micro failures all day long. That's part of the job is to have micro failures. If you're not having micro failures and you're not gonna have micro wins, then what the fuck are you doing all day long? So this week's vlog is all about failure. It's what's been on my mind nonstop. And I wanna include all of you in the vlog in a way we've never done before. So leave me notes here in this little thing and tell me how you overcome failure. And I wanna include what you say in the vlog. <sighs> oh, God. You know, sometimes I just take my mask and I'm just like, before we get started though, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. YouTube loves it. I feel like people who focus on failure a lot, who focus on what can go wrong, those are the people who experience failure the most. Those are the people where things always go wrong. And I believe it's because it's what they've been putting out into the atmosphere. If you put out all the time, shit, I'm not gonna do this, then, then you're not gonna do it. Like Barbara said that she was too busy to fail. She had no time to fail. And I, I love that. And it's been stuck in my head ever since she said it to me. And much like a teenager that gets in trouble, if the hands aren't busy, my mind was so occupied with building that business every day that I never had the thought that it could fail. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if we've got any comments yet. We got lots of comments. Oh Jesus, how am I gonna even decide? I wanna include you all, so things that you want us to talk about in the vlogs every week. Chez Chip says, I drink wine. Okay, that's another way to overcome failure. Just drink heavily. Aman Khan 01, please sir, help me, I text you. We need a little math lesson. Yuri, you wanna do some math? Yuri doesn't give a shit about math. A little time audit to make sure that you are spending your time wisely every single day, just Monday through Friday. I'm not even touching the weekends. I bet you could find one hour each day that you were using unwisely. I bet you could find that one hour every day where you're like, ah, you know what? Maybe I didn't need three hours of TV that day. I could have just done two hours. Or you know what? Maybe I could have woken up an hour earlier. Find one hour Monday through Friday. That's five hours a week. That's 20 hours a month. That's 240 hours a year. That is 10 days of time that you are wasting by being busy, 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 busy with no set concrete action plan and no strategy. And so if you wanna be like Barbara Cork and if you wanna work the way I work, you've gotta to be too busy doing the right things to fail. You can't be too busy doing the wrong things or wasting time. I like this one, this is a good one. Super simple. You only have to overcome failure if you actually stop trying. One of the keys to negotiating is never ask a question someone can say no to. And if you get a response that you don't like to a question you've asked, rephrase the question and ask again until you get the answer you want. Everybody wants to say yes. They just don't always know how to. You only fail if you stop trying. And the way that I overcome failure, and then I gotta go, I don't even have time to do this vlog right now. The way I overcome failure is by being too busy to fail because I don't dwell on the failures. I don't overthink the failures. I don't harbor on them. I stay too busy. I keep my balls in the air as much as possible. So like Sir Hant, the course, right? I keep as many things going on as I possibly can. I have different businesses, different things, so much happening. Figured out a way to stay so busy that I can't fail. That's my armor. That's what protects me against the feeling of failure because I know I'll never get there because I am gonna have no time to fail and I have no time to continue vlogging right now. I have to go into an appointment. So, no, raining. You see my branded umbrellas? It's important in rainy climates. Oh, is it? Oh, it's not even raining anymore. Oh yeah, what a day, what a day, what a day. 
So it's a little after four o'clock, which means the sun is about to start setting. And I don't even know what happened today. I know I did a lot of things. I know a lot of things are still happening. I know I'm going to a listing pitch right now. I think it should list for around 10, maybe 11 million. They're probably gonna want 15, but I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna beat them up and I'm gonna get them down. Actually, before I go into my next listing pitch, which is right over here, let me tell you about one of the biggest failure days of my entire career. I experienced in August of 2019, what I now call Hell Monday. It was the worst. I lost $72 million in deals on that one day. There was a lot going on in the world and there was a lot of fear and the stock market fell about a thousand points in one day. People started pulling out of deals left and right. This is the end of the world, Ryan. It's over, we're done. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And people freak out. $72 million in one day. I pieced together all the deals. I saved what I could. I lost most of it, but it was just one day out of 365 days. And I couldn't let what I built up and lost in one day affect the other 364 days of my entire year. And so I didn't dwell on it. And now I gotta go here. Let me see you back at the office. MWNJ Real Estate says, I overcome from failure by learning from it. Plus, I don't believe in failure. Oh, don't even believe in it. That's good. Failure is a learning tool to make you better. I like the idea of failure as the seeds towards your success tree that you are trying to grow, that you are actually growing. More seeds, the better, because you can take from those seeds and grow even bigger and even better because you're gonna know more life, right? You're gonna have learned more life. Any fears for Sirhan failing? The biggest fear that I have with the company is the future. Like, I don't know what the future holds. What competitors are gonna come out? How is the business gonna change? How's technology gonna change the business? How are people gonna change? What's the real estate market gonna be like in general, New York and global? And I get nervous about that. But then I think, man, imagine what people thought 100 years ago. Like, imagine what people thought when they were starting businesses in 1920, right? Like, the world was in a very, very different place and they must have been totally freaked out. Like 1999, Y2K was going to blow up the world. It was gonna be the end of the world. Computers were gonna go back to zero when the clock hit midnight, the year 2000, everything was gonna be over. And it happened and guess what? Everything was fine. Everybody went on their merry way and everything was A-OK -okay, and people just kept working. And that's what keeps me going. Knowing that any struggles or any fears that I have about the potential failure of our new company has been felt by so many people for so many years. And as long as I just keep working, stay busy, stay productive, stay focused, stay goal oriented, have fun, be excited, keep that enthusiasm alive, there is no way that we can fail because I won't allow it to. And I will not allow us to fail. I will never allow us to get to that point where we might have a breaking point and we will stay busy to the point where we cannot fail uh, because there just won't be time for it.